And this is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and today we're going to talk to you about aftershaves. All the goodness that you can enjoy after you finish shaving, you wash your face, you towel it dry just, just gently. What else do you do? Well, you've got a couple different things you, to explore here. Uh, we have an alum bar. We've got splashes and all these little guys, as well as aftershave bombs. And sometimes there, you might use a bomb. Other products are called moisturizers. Um, but the, the idea is similar insofar as uh, you use the splash and or alum to close up pores, to do some light disinfecting of your skin. And then you use something like a bomb to trap the moisture against your skin. And so it never even gets a chance to dry out in the first place. Right. So most of the splashes, which we call a splash, is this liquid right. uh, where you might think of as a Macaulay Culkin sort mm -hmm. of aftershave. A lot of them are alcohol-based, <clears throat> where you would get that Macaulay Culkin burn. Uh, but some of them are witch hazel-based, right. which is still a splash, still a liquid. And I still think of Macaulay Culkin. Is that okay? All the time? Yeah. yeah which, I mean, I guess it depends. There's the young Macaulay, there's the older Macaulay. I, I don't know. I, I only have the Home Alone in my mind always. Yeah, but I, I feel like he, you know, he really makes the rounds on the websites. You see all the, the paparazzi and stuff. I, I don't follow this. You follow, I've seen your computer. You, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, splashes, alcohol-based, you'll get that burn. Mm -hmm. Witch hazel-based, you won't get that burn. Right. Um, you're still looking to tone your skin. Right. To close your pores. Close your pores, to do that disinfecting. And, and, you know, while we're mentioning the disinfecting uh, aspects, the disinfecting key ingredients there, either alcohol or witch hazel, there's other stuff in these, too. Uh, they're, you know, it's not just that. Uh, and those other ingredients are designed to, to actually help your skin recover and, and heal as well. Um, some uh, more than others, but um, it's something to, to pay attention to, something to think about. Uh, aloe, alum, uh, aloe vera, glycerin, those are some of the different things you might uh, come across, jojoba oil. Right, in the in the splashes. In the splashes yep. And then the aftershave balm is more of a cream, more of like a, a normal moisturizer that you right. might have exposure to, and the idea here is just to keep your face hydrated. That's right. Um, yeah, most, I, I feel like, I don't know, if, if I'm gonna use like cream in my hands or something, it's because they're dry and they hurt. And I think uh, if I were to to like think of it differently, I should probably do it like post shaving routine, which is that don't ever let it dry out to begin with, because mm -hmm. um, it it will make subsequent shaves pretty difficult. If you have skin that's like raw, uh, you know you will probably be better off avoiding shaving. Which you know who wants to have a raw face? Um, and so it's it's great just for that kind of prevention. One thing of note, you don't need a lot, especially for the bombs and stuff. You don't need a lot. You don't need multiple pumps or anything like that. One pump it should be plenty for most, um, and uh, you know, any more than that, and you know, you sort of will have extra hanging out in your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and aftershave bombs because they're more on the moisturizing side. There's there's opportunity for a lot of different ingredients and you know different uh, things that will different ingredients that will help moisturize your face. That's right. Um, another piece of the puzzle here is the actual fragrance that's in the product and whether you want to smell like that product mm -hmm. uh, for, it might be a few minutes, it might be a few hours, depending on how strong the fragrance is in that product. That's right. Um, so you, a lot of times, depending how you feel about the scent of your shave, you might want to feel. You want to might want to carry that scent on, or you might want to match your right. your shave soap with your after shave, so that you know you, you have a nice, pleasant yeah. aroma on your face. Or you might want something that's unscented. I shave at night, for example, and I don't necessarily want to get into bed and go to sleep mm -hmm. with my face smelling like rose, for example. Again, <laughs> again, I, I, I am not someone who typically buys a matching set. I know a lot of folks do, and um, I'm jealous of their space, their cabinet space. Mm. Uh, for me, you know, I try to have like a a, a splash that'll go with a, a range of my tobacco scented soaps, uh, a splash that'll go with a range of my citrus scented soaps, and so you know, I, I think there's 
a lot of opportunity to customize to, to test out what works for you. Um, a lot of the, um, as we talked about before, ingredients are uh, varied, and so you can figure out what's actually most nourishing for you. It might change during some parts of the year, like when it's cold out uh, in winter. I don't use alcohol splashes very much, if, if at all, because um, even that tiny bit of extra drying is not something I'm into. And, you know, maybe in the warmer months, I have, you know, I'm, don't think twice about using alcohol splashes. So um, there's that. And the same thing as you said before with the bombs, not only the ingredients vary, but also the, the consistency can vary too. Sometimes it's colored, sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's um, like a thin lotion, sometimes it's thick. And uh, I don't make any claims about like the effectiveness of any of that. Just like find out what works for you. Exactly. Uh, so those are aftershaves. A few terms, a little bit of the differences, splashes, bombs. Um, we carry a, I think we have 300 different kinds, so there's a lot to choose from. We also have samples, sample packs, that, so you can try uh, a smaller version of everything. Yep, that's yeah. great, and it's also great for travel. Hmm, right. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time. Take care, guys.